The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Wheat School. Today I'm in Air, Ontario, catching up with Marika Vanderland from Syngenta. Marika, how's it going? Good. It's a beautiful day. It is great to be out in a wheat field. And uh, hey, um, I, have, I was out in a wheat field about two weeks ago with Peter Johnson and Rob McLaughlin from CNM Seeds, and we were talking about potential. Mm -hmm. Tremendous stems, tremendous tillers, and uh, they're talking about the power and the potential of this wheat. What do you say? Yeah, we're seeing the same thing. Every field that I've been in, and I know uh, my colleagues as well, we're just seeing high stems per square foot. Mm -hmm. Definitely in that sweet spot, you know, if you look at that calculator, or above that. It's, uh, I don't think there's any fields that are below that sweet spot. So it's, it's really exciting to see the wheat crop the way it is this year. We're just, mm -hmm. we're starting off on the right foot. That's so right. it's great. Now, Peter and Rob also talked about risk. And yes. that, that is the risk of lodging with a big, you know, high yeah. powered crop like that. And that leads us to the need of a PGR. Um, you know, yeah. and you guys at Syngenta, Modus is yeah. your product. Yeah. Let's talk timing. Uh, what's the optimum timing for a PGR? Yeah, for sure. So optimal timing is in that growth stage 30 to 32 window. That's what we would uh, say the optimal timing is for Modus, but manipulator would be very similar. Grow stage 30, a lot of fields are approaching that or at that. This field, for example, is at grow stage 30. Um, so yeah, the potential is there, the risk is there. We've been moving the bar on growing wheat here in Ontario. It's no longer poverty grass, it's prosperity grass, right? And we're, we're setting up for, for that this year. Yeah. Now, a lot of the conversation now is about the weather. Yeah. And where that may move this crop or may not move this crop and how the implications for a PGR. Um, how big is that window and how do you have to th you know, think about that window over the next couple of right. weeks? Right, right. Yeah, so we were at growth stage 30 now and um, we had an amazing week of weather two weeks ago, that uh, second week of April, really warm. We accumulated over 100 growing degree days in that, in that week. So, I mean, everything just popped out of the ground, right? And the wheat woke up. And um, yeah, so we, we moved quickly into that growth stage 30, but now last week and this week, we're accumulating about 50 growing degree days per week. So the wheat has slowed back down. So that window, there is time. We don't have to get excited. Oh, we're at growth stage 30. We gotta, we gotta spray the PGR. There is some time there. Um, to apply the product and the labels actually go up to flag leaf timing. So prefer that the products get sprayed um, before growth stage 37 or as that flag leaf is emerging, get it done before then. So there is a wide window. The optimal timing is 30 to 32, but like we saw in 21, that was a year where it looked like this. We mm. had great yield potential as well, but we were very cool and wet through the early part of May and a lot of the wheat did not get the PGR until growth stage 32 to and a lot of it actually was growth stage 37 right. and we still got excellent protection so there's an optimal window but there is time there and right. with the weather forecast that we have we're going to be moving slower than we did two weeks ago so sure. there is some time what about extremes here now i mean growers are saying hey how you know if it's if it's frosty is there a low temperature i have to avoid yeah. what do you tell people yeah so when we are spraying our wheat and if we're just doing a product like modus like just that pgr with Modus, we're comfortable down to zero degrees at night or as long as it's above freezing at night and about five degrees plus during the day. Mm -hmm. Wheat is going to be actively growing at those temperatures, so you can apply the, the growth regulator and you're going to get your money's worth out of that product. Um, when we throw other things in the tank, which is what we're going to want to do because based on the forecast, right. there's going to be some small windows yeah. that may be there and we want to get all the jobs done at the same time. And that's when our risk goes up in terms of phyto to the crop with these low temperatures. So um, on its own, if you do a product on its own, we can be a, it's a bit more forgiving when we add multiple things to the tank, specifically that herbicide, fungicide, and PGR. We have a lot of surfactant. There's surfactant in each one of those products. Now there's a lot of surfactant going on that crop mm. all at once and temperature can wreak havoc on that response we get from that tank mix. So 
Rule of three, we talk about that a lot. The rule of three is important to consider when we're doing more than one thing on the wheat crop that we want temperatures at night to be above three degrees Celsius the day before, the day of, and the day after that application. So there you have it, Marika, some great insights. Uh, you know, uh, that, that sweet spot, growth stage 30 to 32, yep. all the way up to 37 if you need to go there. Yep. We will keep an eye on the weather and see how it goes. Yeah, sounds good, all right.